Hey everyone, just want to do a video on some recent pickups I got from Uniqlo, the brand I am a complete hoe for. But a lot of these items I got, I try and style them both in a streetwear style and then also in more of a techie kind of style as well. And then I'm gonna do a little bit different of a format to the video where I'm gonna be kind of wearing the piece and talking about it. Um, I don't know why it just feels a little bit more natural that way than me holding the piece and talking about it. So let me know what you guys think of the new video format, if you guys like it or not. Um, but yeah, let, with that being said, let's just, uh, just get right into the video, you guys. Just, just right into it. So this is that Uniqlo Arizona cardigan and I actually really like this piece. I've been wearing it a lot recently. Just some performance features on this. Uh, they do have that UV blocking technology in it. So if you're very fair like me and allergic to the sun, you're good. You're not gonna get burned on your arms. You will get burned on your hands and face, but at least your arms are cool. Very breathable and very lightweight and cool to the touch are other aspects of this fabric. So definitely good for springtime and early summer and even probably early autumn as well, especially if you're into those more performance technical fabrics. It's something to check out. However, because it is a cardigan, it's not like super techy, uh, but I do think it's pretty versatile. I think it's more versatile than that kind of cringy linen cotton kimono I used to wear. Um, I still think it works in like these fits. However, you can dress this up into a more kind of business casual setting, or you could dress it down more casually. Like with this fit, I've been wearing a lot recently and just have that Alexander Wang Arizm t-shirt, which I'll go over next, um, tucked into a pair of co um, cropped cotton cargos from Haxon from like two years ago, and then just some Lunar Force ones. Um, the white shoes do kind of stand out a little bit. Um, however, I kind of wanted to avoid any shoes that were super athletic and sporty, so that's why I'm not wearing them with like Presto or Vapor Maxes, just because I don't think it really matches the feel of like a cardigan um, to have like a very athletic shoe. So that's why I have the Luna Force ones a little bit more dialed back. Honestly, I think a pair of pants would just work with this fit too, even though it's kind of a boring kind of default. I really like the color too. They do have it in, I believe, gray, black, and then navy, but definitely the olive is my favorite. So I rated a, uh, I rated a five out of six. Five out of six points. Hey, right, so this is the Alexander Wang Arism t-shirt. Um, Alexander Wang collab with Uniqlo to do like a whole line of Arism. And then earlier this year, they did a heat tech collection. I really enjoyed the fit and cut of this t-shirt, even though it is Arism and which is a more performance fabric. It doesn't have that like shine that a lot of athletic t-shirts have. It's much more of a matte black, which I really like just for a kind of casual everyday view. So it doesn't look like you're going to the gym. Like you just wear this casually and I don't think anyone would notice. There's not too much uh, special about this. The collar is actually kind of has some unique stitching on it. And then there's just some Alexander Wang branding down here on the corner, but it's very subtle, not very noticeable. Um, so if you're into more technical fabrics or just looking for a very nice breathable t-shirt for summertime, I would recommend checking this one out. I do believe they have it in white and gray. I probably might go ahead and pick it up in some different colors because it is a very nice cut and it fits me very well. Um, I went ahead and got a size large just like with the cardigan I just showed before. So yeah, that is the Alexander Wang Arizona t-shirt. Hey, so this is the Uniqlo kind of open collar shirt. I think that's just what they call it. Very simple, but um, it's really, really nice for like those warmer months uh, because functionally it's just, it's basically a Hawaiian shirt that's plain. It does kind of make you look like you own a dry cleaning business or something, but that might be the move though. So it's a super flowy fabric and it's very lightweight. So definitely good for summertime. And stylistically, it's pretty versatile as well. Um, I think generally it fits better with streetwear stuff. So for example, this fit right here, I'm just wearing some black skinny, some Vans, and then this, and it's a nice kind of casual fit. I think putting this shirt on instead of a t-shirt kind of elevates the outfit just a little bit more. So I don't know if you're going like a date or something, that might be something you might want to wear um, just because it's a little bit nicer than the t-shirt. Uh, but uh, I've actually put this together with kind of more of a tech fit as you can see here. And I actually think it works quite well. I do kind of have some green in my Vapor Maxes and then some crop pants and then a kind of a techie bag. And I think it works decently. I actually like this so much, I went ahead and picked it up in white. 
Um, with the white one, I think it's a little bit more of a struggle to style because you kind of look like you're going on a wedding on a beach or something. Um, kind of have to avoid that. And I'm also pretty white uh, myself, so maybe once I get a little bit more of a tan going, I'll be able to wear that and not look such like a freak. But until then, I'll probably be rocking the olive one a little bit more, but I actually do really like these shirts. Very light, very breathable, good for summertime. So this is one of my favorite pickups from uh, Uniqlo recently, and this is the Uniqlo convertible collar block tech coat. And what's really nice about this is it's very versatile, so you can wear it with business attire. So if you have to dress up for work or an event and it's raining, you can go ahead and throw this on and you'll look good. However, you can also dress it down in like, let's say all these like kind of tech fits I wore with them. And I've been wearing this a whole lot ever since I got it. And luckily it's been really rainy out recently so I can actually wear this and not look like a LARPer or any of those things. So no no disrespect if you go LARPing. I will say they did improve the Block Tech material that from two years ago. So on my Block Tech Park kind of like the standard raincoat, um, the inside it kind of had a very like rubberized urethane feel to it and it would kind of stick to your skin or to your clothes and it just wasn't the most comfortable thing, but they made it way more smooth so it doesn't have that grippy texture on the inside, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, for 50 bucks, you get a waterproof, breathable, and DWR coated coat. It's a pretty good deal. So if this is still available, definitely check it out um, if you're interested. But uh, I've been wearing this coat a whole lot ever since I got it. And luckily it's been very rainy and kind of snowy this whole entire springtime, so I've gotten some good use out of this already. However, I'm trying to get as much wear as I can out of it before it's too warm and you can't, can't wear it. Even right now, it's like snowing outside and it's May. For sizing, this runs very large. I think this and then also the, uh, I think they call it the mountain parka or something like that. It's this one here. Both of these run extremely large and I got a size medium and it fits me good. But for reference, my Uniqlo parka, like kind of the more standard raincoat one, I have an XL in that. And I sized down two to a medium in this and it fits very good. So definitely size at least a full size down, if not two. Hey, so sorry about the lighting. I got back from class and it got like kind of dark out. Um, so I had to break out the light. But um, anyways, just want to quickly talk about those easy ankle pants. Um, here's them in two different fits right here. With the black one, I do have it in more of a techie kind of fit here. So I do have my black Jesus sandals, black socks, the black ankle pants, and then that this um, Alexander Wang uh, Ares of t-shirt and then a Y3 backpack. I think it's a pretty simple fit, but I think it's fairly effective at being very lightweight and summery. Um, so if it's like an overcast summer day, I feel like you could probably wear that. However, if it is like middle of summer and really sunny out, you might look a little bit weird in all black. These pants are pretty versatile, so you can dress them up or down. Um, I think an example where you could dress it in a business casual setting would be if you tucked in like a nice fitting polo and then had some dress shoes with some no-show socks and then the like a lighter pair of the pants. I think it would work out pretty decently. Um, but however, in this fit right here, I do have it with that white open collared shirt and then the gray easy ankle pants and then my um, Puma Thunder Desert that are this really nice like kind of off-white earthy color and I have a tote bag so this whole fit I try and keep very summery and have a lot of earth tones throughout it. I think it works okay. Um, I'm not the best at styling those type of fits but I think generally this is a direction you could go with these pants. Um, in terms of the pants features there's a zipper on the back pocket so you can zip your wallet in the back Two normal side pockets. You don't need to wear a belt it because they do have an internal drawstring system. Um, the fit of them, they're very slim fit. Uh, for example, I do wear usually a 32 by 32 in denim and I got a size medium in these and they fit very well. Um, but they're very simple. It's not too much I can talk about them, but. Oh, also um, Uniqlo always has like a lot of different colors of socks. I went ahead and picked up um, a navy pair, uh, mainly to try and fit them with my young ones. Hold on one second. So in my head, because I never wear these, I like looking at the shoes and I like them off feet, but then when I style them on feet, uh, I just can't do it. So I got these um, navy socks to maybe go with it because it is um, dark blue right in there, not black. But um, went ahead and got those socks and then just a variety of kind of off whites and grays. Um, I just thought they might kind of mix up an outfit a little bit and just 
Um, something different than just white or black socks. So it's another little hiccup I had right there. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, let me know what you guys think on some of the pieces. If you think they're absolute trash, go ahead and let me know that that was complete trash. Um, but if you liked it, go ahead and let me know. Um, and again, like with most videos, if you guys have any ideas on how to style something, go ahead and drop a comment so I can learn from you guys. Because a lot of this stuff, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to style things and I would greatly appreciate your guys' help with that. Yeah, no, thank you guys for stopping by and thank you to everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate all the support and I will see you in a video very soon. So yeah, see you guys.